Hey everybody, welcome to Reconquest. Today we'll be playing as the Outlaws, the last faction, and I think that'll be uh, it for our coverage of the game. Uh, going back on what I said in the previous video, I think the game is decent. It's just whether or not you're um, expecting something new or not. If you want more Command & Conquer gameplay, you're going to find it here. More specifically, Command & Conquer 3 gameplay. But if you were looking for something new, you're not going to find it here. Um, for, the, for the cost of the game, as well as for the amount of content you're getting, it's worth your money uh, if you're a fan of this amount of... Um, of the, uh, if you're a fan of this type of gameplay, that is. Um, I do like the Outlaws faction a lot more than the Urban Forces faction. I feel like the Outlaws are a little bit more of their own thing in comparison to the Urban Forces, which are really, there's no other way to put it, they're just GDI. Um, at least these guys, they take the post-apocalyptic feel and crank it up to 11. Makes me think a lot of Mad Max when I look at these guys. Like, they're just aesthetically pleasing to look at. A little bit more interesting that they're brute force. I just wish that they would expand upon that a little bit more. But oh well. I think mean, that's like the main crux of the game. It's just like um, the factions themselves are pretty basic. So that is something to keep in mind about. Okay, radar net is radar net. Wow. Radar is just set up. Okay, gas processor done. I do like the um the monster. That thing's kind of kind of cool looking. I just love the design of these guys a little bit more than how they play. They they don't really play differently to that of the um the urban forces faction. But I like their look. I like their feel. I just like their um their jive. Construction. I don't know how to explain it. Let's get like, two gas processors there, and then afterwards we will get out a Tower of Fanatics. Crank up the AI to hard, so let's see what happens. So far, nothing really. Got a kamikaze unit we can get. Strong for soldiers. A couple of units there. Fortunately, it cost some resources to do that ability, but oh well. Enemy unit sighted. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. New construction options. Building. New construction options. Building. Building. Right, let's get the monster really, really fast. Complete. Enemy unit sighted. Building. Power generator. Still viewing units over there. Wow, that view is quite long, actually. Construction complete. Fully upgrade cannons and rockets, and we can't like do any Building. meaningful upgrades that change up the gameplay of um, my units, which is a little bit unfortunate. That's kind of a missed ball. This is why I like the monster. I just think it looks complete. it looks rugged. It looks destroyed. It looks like it was hobbled together. Building. Aesthetically, it looks very pleasing. It looks like something that the GDI would drop in battle and then they just repurpose it. It's um, it's a, I guess it's a Goliath that's just like changed up. I'd like to say if they maybe like added some more stuff like toxic shit or some other um, bullshit that makes um, destroys infantry or like everything inside, but I don't think they've really done that. Let's move over here. They have almost the same abilities as um, the other faction. And really, the nuclear missile silo is the same as uh, the EMP missile. So really, the more you think about it, even though there are certain units that are different and really feed on the whole uh, upfront brute force combat that this faction got going on, at the end of the day, I think these factions are just very similar and just reskins of each other. Which, you know, there's plenty of like RTS games that only have one faction. And this, again, keep in mind, this is an indie RTS game. So you're not going to get 
like a lot of diversity out of like these factions. I was done goofed right there. Actually, let's get a helipad. Couple helipads. Eh, some wasps. Taste my airstrike, boy! I don't know if the helicopters do anything differently, but we'll have to see. Come on, fire. Wasps, you fools. Yeah, this AI is uh, pretty much dead at this point. Falcons are very curious in this game. Like they, they sort of like go all over the place. Oh, I hate the fact that I can't lock my cursor to this monitor. Ooh. No, it's a first world problem, but still. Well, the graphics are pretty good looking, honestly. But I just like to see um, some different gameplay. It'll spice things up a little bit. But for a decent, for a fourteen dollar game, pretty decent. You make the argument that there's more units in this game than there are in 8-bit armies and hordes. Granted, the big part about 8-bit hordes and 8-bit armies is the fact that um, you can play, you can get discounts in the subsequent games, which can allow you to have more factions playing at the same time, and you can play as different against different factions that are um, at least at face value they have rad radically different gameplay styles. Construction. Building 
Commander. Commander. He's over here. Whoa! And again, you can dodge these turrets. It's pretty trivial, honestly. Maybe making the turrets hit scan would have been a better idea. We do have a tower of fanatics. W what? That was a strange meme. Time to go, time to go. Hello, hello. Okay, seems like that guy's getting destroyed. Feel bad for you, man. But I got 99 problems, and the outlaws ain't one. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, just nuke their asses. Fuck them. Just end this already. Did it fire? Fuck it, I'm I'm too I'm too tired to even like micro. Enemy unit sighted. Just die for nod. Come on, they fight it out. I'm gonna fight it out. With the urban forces. Just 
just like how the missiles like fly by. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. I'm calling in an airstrike and I'm calling in like a. Yeah, reinforcements. Yeah, we'll just do that. So many missiles. Missiles. Make it so that there's a faction that just shoots out missiles, that's it. It's the missile faction. Every faction should have used missiles, that's it. Just missiles. Itself. There is a bit of overkill. Select target. Enemy unit sighted. Oh, wait, airstrike again. Woohoo! Right yeah, the AI isn't really much of a threat if you're like experienced in RTS games. You may want to make scenarios like 1v8, 1v2. 10, 1v donger or whatever. Maybe the developer should add in like a super like hard mode. See the thing is that I think they, the developers maybe should have done this. Maybe make an, um, this on early access or something. That way they can continue to develop the game and add in suggestions that like uh, players can like input and stuff. Granted I say the same thing about 8-bit armies and 8-bit hordes and look what happens so yeah there's that. I'm about to wipe out everything on the fucking map with these nukes. Woohoo! should be everything I am victorious uh, something I kind of want to show off before uh, we continue there should be more options in the skirmish mode I don't know this is pretty basic different modifiers maybe like um, starting resources maybe change up I don't know anyway I'll see you guys next time. That's Reconquest. Bye-bye.